All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Shane. This is Shane's Games, and tonight we're going to be playing The Ball. This will be our very first time playing it on stream, so you haven't missed anything. But if you want to check out some of the other games I've played in the past, look at my info below. You'll see a link to my YouTube channel where I archive every game I've ever played live. So if you ever find yourself in the mood to see a game you played start to finish, might be a little weird, obscure, unusual, or just nostalgic, feel free to click over there, see what I got available, and throw me a subscribe if you are so inclined. But for tonight, let us get into the game, shall we? Uh, so let's see. I'm going to go into campaign. Is there any way to just delete my progress, or do I just go into campaign and start from the beginning? I think that's all we do, is just go into campaign and start from the beginning. Alright, so... You see a lump already as that I grow with, it's hard to tell. Shane's ball exposed on stream. Nobody report me. Alright, so here's the introduction. There's not a lot of text in here. Separated from your friend, you find yourself trapped in a cavern. On your own, until help arrives, you decide to explore. It is here that you find a strange artifact. You take it. This triggers a massive door to open. Startled, you enter and discover a strange device. The only word that comes to mind is... Ball. Despite your reservations, curiosity gets the best of you. You progress deeper into the earth as the air becomes stagnant and hot. Get in there, folks. We have not done that one, Viltrikin. Thank you for jumping in with that. Pico del Miedo, Mexico, 1940. So it's historical, too. What do you know? Almost done with Persona. <laughs> yeah, that is how they end, isn't it? Typically, Wheel Skellington. Good luck, though. Best of luck. Alright, so what do we have here? Some sort of excavation. I'm guessing archaeological? Hard to tell. Historical balls. Historically relevant balls. Oh no. Are you alright? That was quite a fall you took. Listen, the crane broke down. We have to fly in a replacement, and that will take some time. Go on and explore the area. We'll meet up with you later. Alright, so I'm at Archaeological Dig, and then I fell down a big hole, and it's going to take some while before they can get me out of the hole, so I need to explore. Let's see what we can find around here. Balls of the gods! There we go. Oh, no, 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 no! And now I have fallen even farther. That can't be healthy. I'm supposed to get out of the cave, not go deeper into the cave. You can press H at any time to display a help message. I believe those are just tooltips, though, so they don't really help. Forgot my Indiana Jones hat? That guy's a scrub. We're taking this to the next level. We don't need the hat. He can keep it. <laughs> Let's see. This is what Odin gave up on, along with the eye hanging off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. I literally can't. But it's okay. Maybe we'll... Look at this. I've already found ruins. Things of archaeological significance. It was worth coming down here. What is this? Hello? Some sort of ancient skull gun thing? Okay, sure. Press and hold left mouse button to use the hammer. Hit the little blue button nearby. So it's a it's a hammer, is basically what this thing is. You know, you find these in tombs sometimes, just a thing. <laughs> Drev, of course. Drev, not liking game I played on stream. My shock is un unquantifiable. <laughs> Balls deep in the cave. Dax, I'm going to say that's a uh, front runner for best pun of the night so far. What color? We haven't seen it yet. I'm still working in one of those streams. All right, gotta hit the hit the button, hit the hammer, and there I got a staircase. The famous ancient skull gun thing, known worldwide, John Big Booty. I'm sure you've seen him in museums. Very common. And of course, you know, there's electric lights or something down here. Aztec, very known for building giant ruins full of electric lights. Every cave has one. Every cave. Literally every one, Wheel Skellington. Very common when caving. You're basically tripping over the things. This is a button for the player. Player buttons are always blue. Walk onto the button to activate it. It's even got a little guy on it. 
And there we go. Ooh, big mechanisms. Yeah, that you're correct, Emperor. That first number there is the distance between me and the ball. And the second number is my health, which luckily doesn't come into play too much, but it is good to know sometimes. And that's how stairs work in all the ruins. It's universal as well. Standardized ancient stairs. <laughs> And what do we got here? Well, hello. Move close to the ball and hit left button to hammer it away. Gotta hammer some balls, chat. Smack them good and hard. So here's how things work. So first of all, I've got my hammer. I press it and it punches it. But if I hold the right mouse, it attracts the balls. Also, I can hold down left mouse to charge up the hammer, hit it even harder. Pretty simple enough. So I can repulse, I can attract, and that's how that works right there. Can't be healthy, Emperor. Gonna play the ball next, folks. Someday we will finish the ball and then we will get right around to the ball. You know it, folks. When you lose it, you drop the ball. And you notice one nice game mechanic is when I get very close to it, it makes it transparent so I can see through. That's just smart game design right there. Thank you, game. This is Rocket League! Oh my god. Zero, we have found... We have found evidence that the ancient peoples of the world actually did play Rocket League. Hit both buttons with the ball to extend the two wooden bars to the middle of the room, then walk over the wooden bars to reach the player button. So here we have Babby's first puzzle. We got two ball buttons and a people button. Let's do it. Punch it down there. Guess I'll go ahead and follow it down. There's button number one. And there's button number two. How do I get out of here is the question. Anything in these dead ends? Ew, cub! Oh, bugs on my screen! Unpleasant. Looks like there's some stairs over here. Do enjoy the steampunk ball handler continues to pound in and out at a very rhythmic pace. <laughs> Let's see, I think if the ball weren't partially seated, no, this game would be freaking miserable. So, I mean, it's not much, but I assume that means that they did play test the game. So thank you for that. <laughs> it's almost like the steampunk ball handler was made to handle balls. It would seem so. That definitely appears to be the case. Oh, I see what I need to do. So, use number two for the ball. Use number one was hitting buttons. Use number two, we can walk over it. It's gigantic, Drav, but honestly, I've seen bigger. <laughs> we can use it as a platform as well, if I can jump on it right, and I think that's what we need to do here. Or, oh no, we can just walk over behind it. That works too. Overthinking things, you know, that's how I do. Dung Beetle's Life Simulator! Haven't you always wanted one of those, John Big Booty? Haven't you always thought that's what I need in my life? That's what I need most of all. You solved a puzzle. A door has opened and you may continue. And you see handily it says area complete to let you know that you have solved the entire puzzle. And that door was closed before, so that's where we're headed next. <laughs> So that's basically the rhythm of the game. You solve puzzles, you open doors, you continue on. This is a checkpoint, your health is restored, your progress is auto-saved, and if you die, you will respawn here. Good deal. And yes, we have to carry the ball with us through the entire game. So it's just like you always want to do with a companion cube in Portal, but weren't quite able to. Mankind took the ball from them, the source of their mysterious power. They taught man many things. How to build, how to tame the land, and harness the seas. But when their children betrayed them, they guided man no longer. They recoiled and became angry, became vengeful. Mankind prayed that they would never find the ball. So whoever they is, we stole their powerful balls 
and now we're hiding their balls from them, is basically the story at that point. Something something Portal. This was definitely inspired by Portal. Um, it, it's got the same sort of mechanics, but I think the whole idea of having this, uh, you know, this one big object that you use for puzzle solving, I, th I feel like it is different enough to distinguish it away. I mean, there aren't actually portals in here as far as I know. Hey, monkey. I noticed there's gold coins all over the floor, and for some reason this is the one game where you- Oh man, I squished that monkey. Wow, there's not anything, anything left of him. I'm really sorry for that. No one tell PETA. <laughs> Solar power football. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying. And I, I definitely killed that guy. So let's look around a little bit, although the game already gave us a tool tip that these, these wooden walls with all the cracks in them are destructible. So that's a thing. So mean, I know, Drev. It's cruel. But it wasn't me. It was these ancient peoples. Most help messages will no longer automatically appear from this point on. If you get stuck, press H. Alright, so that's the last of our tutorials right there. <laughs> and now we're moving on to a different topic of double entendres. I like it. What do you think the final boss is? Ball? I'm not even sure if there are any bosses. In a puzzle game? Tough to say. Oh, hey, what's going on here? Oh, hey! Magnet? Magnet took my ball! Get off my ball, Magnet, damn it! Alright, so that's a ball button, so I can't press that. So, we'll press the people button. It turns off the Magnet, excellent. So, a new mechanic! Magnets! They're a thing. How do they work? I don't know. Not sure you were worried you, were, uh, you would cause by playing a game about balls. Oh, I've been ready for this. I accept these consequences 100%. Because like I said, I've played about halfway through this game. I think it's really fun. Like everything I've seen in here has been really awesome. I think the puzzles are smart. Um, I think it's, it's forgiving, which is nice. And... Uh, the aesthetic is cool too. It's not a very, it's not a, a deeply varied aesthetic. Get used to these stone and wood corridors. But still, I feel like it's something. We got two ways to go here, but I don't. Oh, there's a ball button over here. What's in. Oh, I opened one door, but there's another door I need to get through there. So let's do that. <laughs> Dex! Chain plays off stream. <laughs> the Killer Queen logo on the ball. Oh, I hadn't even noticed that. My goodness. <laughs> All right. So, what did that unlock over here? Well, that's got the ball logo right there. So let's see what happens if we. Oops. Let's try hammering the ball into there, maybe. Nope. Not even sure it fits in there. Oh, I see what I need to do. I got the right idea, but the wrong execution. Let's put me on here. Elevator going up. There we go. So. I should mention, too, one scary thing about this is, uh, and this goes for a lot of streamers, I think. It is sometimes scary for streamers to play, uh, puzzle games on stream. For fear of uh, looking really stupid. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this one for y'all. It's not hammering the ball. It's called nut busting. Exactly. Keep your terminology correct, Chet. We gotta get on the same page here. So this right here is a secret. I'm obviously not gonna try and 100% them, but I'll try and grab them wherever I can. Let's see. We tested our new mines. We had to discover a way to, to lave water from the underground river for all the thirsty mouths burdened with construction, constructing the Altapetal. I'm probably going to mispronounce all of these. Aztec words scare the crap out of me. Convoys of water bearers between the work sites took able arms away from the build, so we set out to construct a new system. But we were left frustrated. Our troughs failed. A whole month was wasted. So it sounds like uh, so far these, this secret is talking about the construction of the whole underground city right here. So that's a thing. You're concerned about puzzles after the hacking incident in KOTOR 2? 
True. There's not much lower I can get after that, so that, that's uh, comforting at least. I do appreciate that. Thank you, Emperor. Little tiny bit of lore. It's not all just smacking around balls. There's learning, too. We know you're not afraid to look stupid on stream, and we're grateful for that. My heart goes out to you, Dex. <laughs> no fall damage. Thankful for that. So let's see if that door is... And that door is open now. We can proceed. That's another checkpoint. Another area complete already. Have you ever played Talos Principle? Yes, John. I love Talos Principle. That game is so good. I love the story. I love the puzzles. Beautiful and uh, surprisingly relaxing game. Definitely. Anyone that is into puzzle games, I highly recommend Talos Principle. And there's a bunch of spikes down there, so this is kind of scary. Um, I don't want to do this. Jump! Alright, cool. I just needed to jump it. Nino Kuni looks so good, but I have to wait until it comes out to Game of, Game of the Year edition. I hear you there, Drav. I think I'm right there with you. Although, for me, it's I need to go play Nino Kuni 1 before I get around to Nino Kuni 2. These buttons are connected. Both must be pressed at the same time. Stand in the player button and roll the ball towards the ball button. I want to show this off a little closer because we will be seeing this again. So you see there's like this conveyor belt going between the two buttons. That, that indicates the two buttons are connected. And wow, I just squished a monkey and got blood all over my face. Holy shit. That's grim. There we go. Puzzle solved. <laughs> and only a little monkey death behind it there. <laughs> Bob! Wonder if you can crush yourself with your ball? You cannot, I don't think. You might be able to drop it on yourself, but you, you can't roll it into yourself hard enough to damage yourself, I don't think. Alright, I see more spikes. That's not good. Um, is there anything else in here besides... Oh, I see. There is a ball button on the other side. Let's give that a punch. And that lowered the spikes. And did something else. I can't see the ball now. I think it's underneath me, maybe? Oh, it's underneath me. Let's see where that leads to. Got a pathway over here. I can drop down. Ah, oh, here we go. Hey, buddy, I found you again. Is there an achievement for murdering all the monkeys? There's an achievement for murdering a lot of monkeys. Which is why I am probably going to kill some of the little bastards. Oh, is he stuck in the corner? I don't know, he may be dead. It's hard to tell. Careful. Oh, there's another pillar across there. What in the hell? Alright, so yeah, there's something blocking my way right here, so I need to figure out a way to clear that. Is there a people switch here? No, I must be missing something. Don't give your ball a punch. You're not the boss of me. I'll tell you what's healthy for me, Drev. But yeah, there is an achievement for monkey murder in here. That is a thing. Oh, hey, we got lava, too. That's a new thing. Luckily, one thing that is kind of nice in here is the ball actually has decent pathing around corners. As you can tell right now, it's not quite able to get to me, but uh, sometimes you can get a good distance back to you if you get separated, which is nice. You're not the balls of me, Dex! If you're gonna get timed out, I'd say that's a good reason to get timed out. Alright, another button pressed. And we got another people switch over here. Go ahead and hit that. Hey, you just break the spear? What am I gonna break it with, Emperor? It's not like I have some magical ancient hammer of the gods that I can break it with. No, we just gotta leave it. Unfortunately, that beam can never be broken. I just don't have the tools. 
Oh, now this beam is blocking us off, so we gotta guide the ball around this way. Come on, buddy. Get through this. Alright, that should be good enough. Run over here. And pull him the rest of the way. Gotta hang up the remaining laundry. Alright, Zero. Enjoy hanging your laundry. Nice, fresh laundry. Always nice. Great balls of fire. Dax, you're off to bed. Thank you so much for stopping by, Dax. I hope you enjoyed watching. And hope you have a good, uh, good week. Until I see you next. Take care of yourself. Alright. Oh, and now we got uh, two pillars. That'll make it actually easier to get across. And they're even tilted. Very nice. Puzzle complete. Place the block near the uh, the ball near the block at the end of the corridor and press E. Move the ball to pull the block away. So this is a new mechanic right here. You see, we've got this stone block, big heavy stone block with this big device on it. So what we can do, pull the block over close. So we get that little prompt at the bottom of the screen. You press E, and we tie the ball to the stone block. And then we can pull the ball, which pulls the block, and we're good. So then we just need to move myself out of here, and then we can untie, and we're good. Let's see, bedtime for you too, Viltrican. All right, thank you for stopping by as well. Hope you had a good time, and I was glad to have you here. So you take care of yourself, and I'll see you around. Have a good rest, my friend. 5 a.m. there, Dax, my goodness. Yeah, that's, that's definitely bedtime. I'm down with that. Uh, so anybody that's still here, though, I got a question for you. What's your knee-jerk reaction on this game? Just so far, does this look like a puzzle game you'd enjoy? I know we've still got a lot left, but I'm curious. All right here, we got a new mechanic. You can see it's got a uh, hammer icon in here. So what this is, is basically a block that we're able to hammer. So I can't attract it like I can the ball, unfortunately. But... I can hammer it and lock it into one of those little switch rooms right there. Holy balls, Emperor! Good reaction. I can get behind that. Break some walls with some balls. Cool game so far, Bob. Ball tying sounds dirty. Maybe it is. Mayhaps it is. Companion Cube? This basically is Companion Cube the game right here. This looks weird. Oh, hey. Low gravity field. That's funky. That could be a thing. Wow. <laughs> nice. Let's see if we can get the ball out of... Or not the ball. The cube. Let's see if we can get the cube out of here. Not over this way, though. This way. Come on, you bastard. Get you out of here and into another one of these slots. There you go. <laughs> well, I've got two of them so far. That's more companion cubes than I ever could have dreamed of before. But not bad. I do like it. More companion cubes equals more better, Emperor. Low gravity bob approval. You know, that's actually uh, one one thing, a reason, uh, one of the things in my bucket list, one of the things I've always, always, always wanted to do before I died is I wanted to go into space. And one of the reasons I've always wanted to do that, aside from the, the extreme coolness that is being able to see the Earth from space, is uh, low gravity, or microgravity is, is the technical term these days. Um, is one of those things that I really can't imagine how it would feel. And that seems awesome. Someday I would like to check out microgravity. And that is uh, definitely a bucket list thing. You want to go to another planet, Bob? That would be cool as well. Overlord going into lurk because you're feeling very sick. Oh no, I'm sorry, Overlord. I hope you feel better. Have yourself a good rest. And I will see you around, friend. Like water, but it doesn't touch you. True, I suppose that's true, but, you know, even with water, you get the sensation of the water pushing in around you. 
Uh, you know, especially if you go down a little bit of depth. So, you know, it's still going to be significantly different from that, I feel. Press C to crouch. I don't think we'll be using that too often in the game either, but good to know. And yeah, you know, th there's also the bonus of being able to see, uh, whoa. Emperor, oh my goodness. <laughs> Another gift sub. Emperor, thank you so much for that. You are the man. And as as much as I do believe that uh, gift subs will make you feel better, I'd probably recommend chicken soup. Also, I'm not a doctor and don't know anything about illness. <laughs> but Emperor, thank you for giving that gift sub right there. And uh, Overlord, if you haven't gone to bed yet, enjoy your gift sub. And uh, otherwise, it'll be a nice surprise when you get up and are hopefully feeling better. Don't go on Planet X, those black electrodes. <laughs> I suppose you would know, John Big Booty. Perhaps even be the expert on it. I need to watch that movie again sometime. I just watched it, uh, I think last year. But, uh, you can't ever watch that movie too much. This, I believe. <laughs> Overlord, you made the mistake of typing in chat. <laughs> That's how he gets here right there. I like the music in here too, the incidental music. It plays sometimes when you finish puzzles. Very nice. Irish whiskey that always makes things better sounds excellent, Bob. Oh, right, and hey! Alright, got an elevator. Don't fall. Not X like X, Planet 10. Like in Planet 10, 8th Dimension. I don't know anything about planets there, John. I just know about oscillation over thrusters. <laughs> I keep my area of specialty very specific. Oop, ah, no! Emperor! <laughs> Emperor on a rampage of kindness there. I fix. Oh my goodness, Emperor. Thank you so much for that. Oh, and that's a two-month resub for Kais as well. Emperor, you're amazing. Your generosity continues to be breathtaking. And Kais, enjoy your gift sub right there. Enjoy that emote. Always glad to have you in here, buddy. <laughs> oh, Emperor. Emperor, you're just gonna lock this smile on my face permanently. I don't know how to. I don't know how to uh, feel about this, aside from you know, amazing. Alright, another break of a wall. Come on. Getting your paycheck on Friday and there's a lot more money than expected. Congratulations, Emperor. That is always a good feeling. Seems like things are really looking up for you, Emperor. And that also puts a big smile on my face. Congratulations for everything that is currently going right for you, Emperor. Hopefully everything else will continue like that. Alright, and here's the end of the level. There we go. That's our uh, first loading screen so far, I believe. And we've entered a new area. I think that was basically just a tutorial. Wait, who built that campfire? I hadn't thought about that, Bob. That's actually a good question. Also a spooky question. Maybe there's other people down here. It could have been the monkeys. Damn dirty apes. Damn you! You blew it all up! You maniacs! <laughs> Can you tell I'm feeling better after the stress of Mark of Cree? Mark of Cree did terrible things to me, but now, feeling much better. Feeling awesome. That monkey totally dodged there. And then we got him on the backswing. <laughs> exact reference. I tried there, Bob. I do enjoy that movie. The way ahead is shot. Entombed forever by the people of the Tallen Banner. Ooh. Ziggurat. He who attempts to break the seal will make a wasteland of his home and those of his brothers. Now see, that sounds bad. Making a wasteland of, uh, 
his home and that of his brothers. That sounds very apocalyptic, but on the other hand, I mean, I've got this big ball, I may as well use it, right? Let's go forward, let's continue forward, shit. <laughs> Probably Aztec ghosts, I don't want to fight Aztec ghosts, all I've got is a hammer, that doesn't sound very effective. Is that a su fucking super monkey ball reference? I hope so. That would be amazing. If there's any game that's going to reference Super Monkey Ball, this seems like, you know, prime time here. There we go. That actually wasn't all that effective at stopping me. I like it. <laughs> that quote of the year right there, Drav. Quote of a lifetime, possibly. I don't know if I'll ever top that one. Shane is too much fun when you kill animals. I mean, if you're going to, you may as well enjoy it, am I right? Oh god, that was a bit dark even for me. I'm so sorry, Chet. <laughs> I apologize for the things I say when I'm playing video games. Oh, we already knocked down the wall there. Alright. See, so far we've got a pretty good sense of momentum. Moving forward well, solving puzzles, getting to new areas, I'm liking that. Also, you notice the game has some pretty huge maps. Like, notice all the distance we've covered just so far. Oh, hello. Did I want to do that? I may have wanted to do that. I don't see any other way to go. Very Temple of Doom-like. Not a good movie, but cool temple. Alright, yeah, it looks like I can swim. So, you know, that's positive. And somehow I can swim without moving my arms. Thank goodness for video games. Yeah, Temple of Doom, I, I really don't like that movie. Weak even as an Indiana Jones movie. Weak even uh, by itself. There's very little good about that one. Now the real question is, chat, let me go ahead and throw down the gauntlet. What is your favorite Indiana Jones movie? I mean, for me, the obvious answer would be, uh, uh, not, uh, not Raiders. What's the other one? Oh, of course. Last Crusade. Last Crusade, for me, is, uh, the best indie movie. But I could definitely see an argument made for, uh, Raiders. Although, if anybody tosses out Crystal Skull, I will know that you are trolling. So don't even try. What do we got in here? Nothing? Nothing much. Last Crusade, easy? I totally agree. It's just such a fun movie. And that's really what I want from my adventure movies. I want fun. I want excitement. Alright, so the ball's locked in there. I'm gonna have to find some other way around. I think anyone who prefers Raiders is capable of uh, recognizing their minority. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's see, Bob, you actually like Crystal Skull? That's okay, but would you put it as your favorite above any of the other Indian movies? That's the main question I'm asking there. That would confuse me if that's the case. So not there. So let's try heading all the way back, see if we can see anything over this way. Where did my ball go? Who took my ball? So this is back at the entrance. I don't think this is where I want to be. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really like Crystal Skull either. I mean, you know, anyone is free to like what they like, naturally, but... I thought, even though it had its high points, I thought overall it was pretty weak, even for an Indiana Jones movie. But yeah, there was things to like in uh, Crystal Skull, I think. We already pressed that button. I think I must have gone too far back. <laughs> Guys, thank you for that. Always good to be liked. Right, let's talk about some things that were good about Crystal Skull. Number one, the the very opening of the movie. Wow, that spikes. Oh, there's a button back there. If 
I press the button, it fills the room with water, but locks the ball in. There's some reason I want that? I mean, there isn't anything of note up here. Oh, I think I see what... Maybe? I don't know. Hang on. Let me puzzle this out. But it doesn't last. I can remove the ball from there. Somehow. We got ourselves a puzzle here, chat. The only thing that annoyed me in Last Crusade is when the bad guys are riding modern dirt bikes. I can understand that. That's for a movie that's as neurotic about its, uh, you know, period origins, that seems like an odd oversight. I can respect that. Oh, hey! What is that? How did I not notice that before? Is that a thing? Can I get up there? That appears to be a thing. There's even an arrow pointing to it. I missed a thing. That was the problem, it looks like. Yep, here we go. He's peas. Lunchtime is up. If I'm not back before the end, thanks for the stream. All right, take care of yourself, Emperor. Thank you so much for stopping by, and thank you for those gift subs. Your support means the world, Emperor. Thank you so much. Hope you have a tasty lunch, and hopefully I'll see you around. Take care until then, though. All right, so I press the button, and it looks like I can get the ball out now, and the door's open. Cool. Another area solved. Whew. Spooky noises and flickering lights? I'm sure that doesn't mean anything. Probably nothing will come of that. So, chat, I know I don't play a lot of puzzle games on stream. Are you enjoying watching so far? I will understand if this is not your cup of tea. And the ball is indestructible, so it helps me get some bath past death traps. That's nice, too. That would have been dangerous otherwise. Alright, what's over here? Just bought near Automata. Kais, once you try it out, you'll have to let me know what you think of it. I've seen a little bit of it played, and my god, does it look exciting. Like, I don't even have that much experience with the Nier series, but it just looks like a, a very pretty game, and very fun mechanically. Oops. And now we're playing bowling, is what we're doing. Line it up. Charge it up. Missed again. And... Got it! And that gets us water for some reason. I don't know if that's a thing we needed. There we go. Have you tried Pamela? No, that doesn't sound familiar. What on earth is that? Speaking of PS2 games for Shades to get stuck on when's Dragon Guard? Oh my goodness. I actually have Dragon Guard 1, 2, and 3. The third one being for uh, PS3 rather than PS2. Um, I've played Dragon Guard 1, and I did rage quit it. <laughs> but then again, I've rage quit a lot of games back in the day when I'm playing solo. Um, I played Dragon Guard 3 as well, and that one I just kind of got bored with. It felt like it was a little repetitive. But yeah, Dragon Guard games, uh, that's an option. If you guys want to see Dragon Guard, let me know. I would be willing to try that out. Futuristic survival game, very sciencey. I think I've heard of that. I think I've seen that on Steam before, Bob. Is it stylized like uh, with periods between each of the letters? I swear I've seen that before. Drav, you feel puzzle games are a bit harder to watch since the appeal comes from using your brain to solve the puzzle, which is kind of taken away by watching it. Similar to Telltale games where the appeal is making your own decisions. True. I can agree with that, uh, Drav. 100% respect that. I think sometimes when you watch this stream, you can uh, get some enjoyment out of trying to solve it yourself before the streamer does. But no, if that's your feeling on the game, I, I respect that. 
Alright, I don't think this door was here before. No, this door was here before. Alright. I pressed a button and I raised some water. Not let me get across to another button, but I don't know what that one did. Oh, it raised water in this room, too. So what does that give you? Drakengard has your vote? Alright. I will keep that in mind, Wheel Skellington. Always open to suggestions in here. Oh, that's the one. Alright, Bob. Yeah, I have seen that on scene before. It did look interesting. And if you're going to tell me it's interesting, I will believe you 100%. And I will see about uh, playing the game sometime. Much appreciated. I'll look into that right after the stream and see if I can add that to my wish list. Oh, hey, here we go. This I did not see before. So the button opened up a new passage down here. If I go down here, is this another ball button down here? It might be. Yep, yellow means ball button. All right, cool. Let's go back and we'll grab the ball. See if we can bring it over here. Come to me. You are summoned. Oh, hey, I can take damage from the ball. Oh, no, I'm taking damage from drowning. I wasn't sure how long I could stay underwater, but apparently there is a limit. Good to know. I'm like, what am I taking damage from? So there isn't any sort of breath indicator that I can see, but you do have a limited amount of breath in here. Go figure. And button pressed, water drained. Excellent. So where does that get us now? You got all the endings. I heard that was miserable to do wheel skeleton, so congratulations on getting all those. It's a big deal right there. Very fun to watch even if you already uh, play off stream. All right, I'll keep that in mind as well. The thing is I can hammer here. Oh, cool. Sort of knocking things loose there. I can get behind that. We'll give you a 600 page long review. I expect it by Friday. And it will take up 50% of your grade, guys. <laughs> now we know what knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! <laughs> Alright, area complete. I think that opens the door here. Excellent. And door open, let's move on. So, like I said, I need a little something to relax me after, uh, ne not near. I got near on the brain now. Need a little something to relax with after, uh, the debacle that was the ending of Mark of Cree. So, let's actually play a little bit extra. Let's do a little bit of bonus stream tonight, chat. How's that sound? Hello? You see that? You guys see that? I swear I saw a dude running through there. Well, that's creepy. Alright. Let's continue through here. The big old chamber. Ooh. And lit statues and everything. And the ball is stuck in a puddle now. Got some more lava over there and suspiciously lit torch as well. Alright, what do we got to interact with here? I saw there was a cube back there, but it didn't look like there was anything we could do with it just yet. Because we can't pull those cubes, we can only push them. And we could only access that one from one side. Two. Oh, hey! That coats the ball in oil! I've got an idea. Oh, I'm on fire! Alright, so this is a little dangerous, but doable. With the ball and oil. 
And... Ow. Nope, I think what we gotta do is we gotta hit this fuse right here. But I've got the right idea. I'm shocked no one has actually said great balls of fire. This is definitely the time to do it, Chet. Get my ball good and oily here. Ow. Huh. Maybe I have to leave a path back to there? That might be what I need to do. Said it earlier, Bob. You can always bust out the old classics again. No need to fear that. Alright, get my ball good and oily. See if we can make a path over to it then. Let's see if this works. Oh, that did it! There we go! And now we got a path forward. Excellent. <laughs> Shin, please. <laughs> the jokes just happen. I can't stop them now. Alright. So that's a new mechanic. We got those, uh... We got oil, we have fuses, we've got bombs. So even though pretty much all you do is use this ball to get around, they are adding some new mechanics as time goes on. Let's see, where do we want to go now? Oh, bugs! We got some sort of elevator right there. And... Elevator right there, but I can't actually step into it, doesn't seem like. That's weird. Oh, there is an elevator right there. Oh, we got a cube here. Can I knock that into the elevator? That might be a thing. <laughs> I gotta wash them? You're not the boss of me, Bob. Not even remotely the boss of me. Alright, there we go. Just a bit of a counterweight right there. And it says area complete. Alright, let's go ahead back downstairs then. See what we can see down there. Spiderweb. Holy crap, Story Strider! Thank you for the host right there and welcome in! How are you doing this evening, Story? Alright, we got a train. I just wrecked some stuff. Welcome in, Stories viewers! How are you all doing tonight? For anybody that doesn't know me, my name is Shane. This is Shane is Games. I play the weird, obscure, unusual, and nostalgic, and today we are going straight weird with a game that is literally just called The Ball. Because of this. This is basically the whole game right there. Zero, thank you for the shout out right there. Story, your heart is broken. Is that because of the game you were playing right there? A way out? I caught you playing a little bit of it in co op before I uh, started the stream, and I've heard. You know, I, that game looks exciting. I am intrigued by that game. Oh, hey! Is that an evil mummy? We have evil mummies. I don't approve of that. Luckily, I can just swish them with my gigantic ball. Why are there evil mummies all of a sudden? This was a nice, polite puzzle-solving game. And then we get evil mummies ruining the party. Ow! Get out of here! Alright, I think we're good was so good you really enjoyed it? Alright, I'm gonna have to check that out sometime, Story. I enjoyed the uh, previous game by the developers, uh, Brothers, The Tale of Two Sons. I don't know if you ever played that one, but if you haven't, that one you're, you're probably like too. Um, it's, it's an interesting thing because it's a, a single player game that plays like a co-op, where you control two characters by using the two different joysticks on a controller. And folks, seriously, if you haven't followed Story Strider right here, you're only hurting yourself because she is amazing, upbeat, full of energy, and plays such a cool list of games. Like, they're playing that co-op game tonight. Brand new release. You know you don't always want to watch these old things. Sometimes you want to check out some of the new games out there. Story will take care of you for that, so make sure you click 
the link right there and give her a follow. Oh, you did play that one. Awesome. Glad to hear you like that, too. Oh, nope. We got more mummies. Take my hand off the keyboard for just a second and immediately pay for it. And there were dudes throwing fireballs at me in there, too. I don't approve of that. Alright, I guess we want to head down there towards the fireball dudes? That doesn't seem like a good idea, but we'll head down there. Void Vagrant, a way out improved things that lacked in Brothers. See, that's an even better selling point right there. That means a lot. Because, you know, I liked Brothers, but if you're telling me that they stepped their game up since then, I'm going to be happy camper. Oh, and you went through both endings. Classy! I may have to watch the VOD for that story. I am very, very excited to see more of that game. Alright, so we got guys throwing fireballs at me. I don't approve of that, but I think that part of the ledge right there is breakable. Let's see. Yep. And that squished all three of the fireball guys. Nice. We got a big block right here. Do we need to do anything with it or just get it out of the way? I think maybe just get it out of the way. Let's see. Alright, then we'll head over this way and see what we can see. Oh, it is a fantastic game, you say so too, Bob. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna have to check this thing out. I know, Hatsuke, it's a little on the nose. Just called the ball, that's it. Just the ball. Why do they call it that? Because there's a big ball. That's the, the game mechanic. Just that. Nothing else. Keep it simple, I can respect that. Don't try and be something you're not, and this game is the ball. <laughs> So basically what this is, is it is a, uh, oh, I see what I gotta do. This is a first person physics based puzzle solving game. Where you use this big ball and you've got this thing called the hammer that you can use to uh, attract it to you or repel it from you. And you use it to solve puzzles. And that's basically the entire mechanic of the game. And uh, I, I played about half of this before, and I thought it was really fun. I, despite that being the... Not seeming like a very complex mechanic, they do a lot of cool things with it. Yeah, Void Vagrant, I think this is definitely inspired by Portal. It's got the same feel of uh, uh, Portal, although it doesn't have the sort of uh, spatial manipulation that you see in there. The puzzle solving is still the same, and I find it really satisfying and honestly pretty relaxing, too. I would definitely recommend it to anybody that sort of likes that portal style of game. Oops, we got more mummies. Evil mummies, man. Not what I need in my life today. Is that all of them? I think that might be all of them. Alright, we're good. We catch up on Chad a little bit right there. Wheelie, really, you feel like the puzzle could have been solved in many ways that did not involve a giant ball. But you know, you use what you have in hand, Wheel Skellington, and what we have is a giant ball. So that's what we're using. Oh, hey, elevator, nice. When you picked up the hammer, I was sure it was going to all be the source gravity gun. I mean, it's definitely got some elements of that in there, but it basically only works on this one thing. <laughs> Hatsuki, you don't like relaxing games, you need your rage games. And that's fine too, you know, different games for different people. Whatever you like to play, as long as there is a game that fits your niche, I say go for it. 100% go for it. Right, I don't think I can fit the ball through here. What do we got down here aside from a ton of bugs? And we can step up through here. Oh, a secret! Nice! They, so we missed uh, three secrets already. Holy crap. They all see enlightenment when there is only growth. They all see godliness where there is only invention. Their chieftain has declared himself a god among men, a son of Quetzalcoatl. Every day they learn something new and their land expands into ours. They take too much without giving back. We are slaves. Our backs shall be burdened for their will. So, uh, a bit more history on the people that built this place. I'm down with that.
Hey, if you've got the skill to do uh, CSGO competitive or Overwatch competitive, I say more power to you. I certainly don't have the skill. I am terrible at uh, first person stuff. Uh, my aim and my reflexes are just kind of pathetic. <laughs> and that's okay. You know, I do enjoy uh, a little bit of Overwatch from time to time. But uh, I'm never going to become a uh, top tier player or anything like that. And I have accepted that. I am okay with that. And, you know, I've got my niche in gaming. That's all. Now, see, that's just sort of a broad generalization there, Hatsuki. There are some people that rage, but I also know some people that play comp that are totally calm and some, uh, you know, some of the most cheerful people you'll ever see. Way more cheerful than me, that's for sure. So, you know, don't, don't lump people together like that. Let people be people. Oh, oh no. Oh no, the magnet got him. Alright, so I do have a switch here. Huh. And if I hit this switch... Shoots him across to that side. Alright, so... I'm gonna shoot him across to this side. And then let's explore a little bit. Too close, you're gonna go out on a rare sunny English day? Alright, you enjoy your uh, sun. Don't burn. Sunblock. But uh, hope you enjoy that. Hope you have fun with that. And thank you for stopping by, Two Ghost Gun, as always, and uh, I will see you around, hopefully. <laughs> Wheel. This game just invites the double entendres. I don't know if I could get through this game without all of them. They just belong here somehow. So yeah, I don't play a lot of puzzle-solving games on stream, um, for the simple reason that I worry about feeling like an idiot live, running into puzzles that I absolutely cannot handle. Just get crazy confused about, don't know what to do. But I enjoy puzzle games. We were just talking about the Telos Principle earlier, and I love the Telos Principle. Um, very good puzzle game. Highly recommend it if you like that same sort of portal feel. Um, good story on that one, too. You don't see a lot of puzzle games with a good story, so I appreciate that. More of a retro guy, you like old games? Not entirely. Like, I mean, there's plenty of modern games I like. I don't buy as many modern games as I would like, though, just because I've got such a huge Steam backlog, I don't really see the point. I need to finish what I've got before I start on anything else. So we got spikes there. Can't go through there. I figure out what I want to do about that. But I do like retro games, very much so. Um, and I have a big collection of retro games, and one of the things I want to do on the stream... Spikes there too, dang it. One of the things I want to do on the stream is uh, show off some of these retro games to people that maybe have never seen it before. You know, give people an experience they may not have gotten to have at any point. Alright, does the button do anything else other than move the ball? Let's check that out. So I hope you enjoy seeing some of these games. I hope some of these experiences I am handed over are things you'll enjoy. I wonder if I can jump this, actually. I'm going to try jumping this. This may kill me, but uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Shade the Empire frowns upon Telos worship. Oh, you got to bring up the, red, the white gold concordat on me, Bob. Gosh darn it. Oh my gosh, I can't jump that. Just barely. Alright, so I hit the button, and that did something. Oh my gosh, that's so close. What did that do there? Oh, it raised a wall. That's interesting. So what happens if I go back over there and press the other button now? Oh, I get the ball back for one thing. Oh, area complete. That's all I needed to do. We just figured out a, out a way to change magnets without the ball getting stuck. I like it! Alright, and where to next? Down this way, perhaps? Let's see what we see. Zero, you're heading out for the night? Alright, thank you so much for being in here, Zero. You are the MVP of the stream. Thank you so much for all the modding you did. I really appreciate it. Zero mod extraordinaire right here. Uh, so take care of yourself, Zero. Have yourself a great evening and a good rest of your weekend as well. Alright, 
what do we have down here? Another break of a wall. Zero, sometimes, uh, sometimes I don't know how the stream would proceed without a mod like Zero in here. But the guy knows what he's doing and he does it well, what can I say? Oh, hello. Big old lava cavern in here. So like I said, the tile sets that I've seen in this game haven't been tremendously varied, but at least they make good use of their space aesthetically. I think that means a lot. Right, we got a door right there. We got some evil mummies right there. I'm gonna squish. Nice! Got him on the backswing. Alright. And I can get through here, but I can't bring the ball yet. There's a mine cart with a ball symbol on it, so maybe we need to get the ball over there. Explore a little bit too. That's okay, you don't like puzzle games except Lego, and like I said, that's okay too, you know? And hopefully uh, you enjoy watching this at least. It'll give you a little something you might not have gotten to see before. You get to watch a game that you might not necessarily play yourself. That's something I enjoy about Twitch sometimes. Like, I don't know if I'd ever play... Uh, I don't know if I'd ever play PUBG on my own, but sometimes I watch people play PUBG on Twitch, and I enjoy that very much. One of the unique opportunities you get on uh, Twitch, getting to see something like that. Alright, so that opened up a little door over there, I like that. Shit is squish, I don't want to be a squish, I want to squish mummies. That's a good thing, because mummies are evil. Also, sometimes squish cave monkeys, because why not? If you got a giant ball, you just squish things sometimes. It's just how things go. Just the nature of the world. Oh, you're a fan of PUBG, Hudson? Okay, good deal. I will say I've been playing PUBG Mobile a lot recently. Which I know some people are probably not going to be a big fan of, but I've been enjoying it. It's probably a bit more casual than uh, PC PUBG. I mean, it almost certainly is, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's nice to be able to get a PUBG-like experience without leaving the bed. That's always nice for me. That's a big deal. Alright, we opened something. I'm trying to remember where it is. Was it just down here? I think this might have been what we opened up. Spiders ruin this for me. Oh yeah, that is pretty gross when you go through the, uh, the cobwebs right there. That seems like an unnecessary addition to the game, but what are you going to do? Girl of Tomorrow, you wish you could PUBG in the sense that you wish your computer ran it, or you wish you were good at it? That's a big distinction right there. Hi! Right. Ball-powered minecart. Will wonders never cease? And I'm not controlling this, by the way. Just uh, controlling where I look. So hopefully this doesn't take me anywhere untoward. Because uh, apparently I got no control over it. Little theme park sequence right here. I can deal with that. Again, if you really think about it, the maps in this place are humongous. Like this must have taken some time to put all this together, with the just the sheer amount of uh, space you travel over in the course of one map. A lot of work put into it, I like that. Scared your internet will get you killed, oh girl, tomorrow. I can, I can respect that. With that Aussie internet, it's possible and that would be very frustrating. And plus, if I remember correctly, it's a pretty big download, so if you were to spend all day downloading it and then not be able to play it, that'd be pretty frustrating as well. Now the zombie shooting part of the game. Give me a sniper rifle. Let's get this done. Man, this game's really railroading you. Real feels like it's on tracks. <laughs> I love it. PC can't handle it, Hatsuke. I feel like I actually do want to try out PUBG at some point, just on PC, just because I'm loving the mobile version so much. And I feel like uh, being a little bit more tactically minded as I am would probably serve me a little bit better on the PC version than it does on the mobile version. But uh, I have so little time for games like that, I don't want to just pick it up myself. So maybe someday, maybe the next big Steam sale, I'll think about it. Shane goes all Duke Nukem soon. 
<laughs> I've got balls of steel. Now to get back on track with the ball jokes, double combo there, Wheel Skellington. I love it. Let's see, Hatsuke, you will get a gaming key PC, but then you'll buy a Sea of Thieves. All right. That looks like a very pretty game. I've heard it's a little limited on content, but I haven't tried it out myself yet. Oops. Oh, and it's getting washed away by the river. That doesn't seem good. Um, guess we're going in after it. And we're getting washed away as well. Ball, come back. Ball, I can't live without you. There it is. Ball, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong. And I just can't live without you. <laughs> She'll give it a go sometime soon and screw it tomorrow. Well, I hope uh, it works out well for you. Never fun when you've got a game that you can't play due to limitations like that. So I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Only have about one up. That's not great, but uh, some games, some games it's possible. I don't, I don't want to get your hopes up here because I haven't tried it myself, but still fingers crossed regardless. My current internet is, I believe, 35 down and about 6 or 7 up. Somewhere in the neighborhood of that. I like that background there. It looks gorgeous. Uh oh, we got mummies. Oh, and of course he dodges. And of course I step in the fire. Got killer mummies and I'm just stepping in the fire. I'm my own worst enemy. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh, that's a lot of them. <laughs> and this is considered a mid-grade tier. Like, this is the middle tier from my internet provider. They have worse, but they have better as well. Nice. And I got mummy blood all over me. That's gruesome. Can I look in any of these houses? There might be secrets in some of them. I didn't even think about that. How are they growing wheat under... Was there wheat? I didn't even notice that. I was too busy killing mummies. <laughs> that is a good question. We still don't know who's keeping these campfires running, though, either. That is an open question as well. I know. Secrets? I think these houses actually may have been, of, may have been full of mummies. Because I think these doors were all closed when we came in. And now they are mysteriously open. <laughs> now fiber internet. Fiber internet uh, is what I really want. Fiber to the premises? That's the dream right there, girl, of tomorrow. Because not only is it uh, faster than my current internet, but in general, fiber tends to be cheaper than... Uh, uh, cable internet here, at least. So that's that's definitely the dream. But right now, I don't really have any options for it out here, which is unfortunate. Void Vagrant, there's the possibility of getting 1 gig down and 500 megs up. Now, does that cost as much as I'm afraid it costs Void Vagrant? Because that sounds... That sounds very expensive. That sounds painfully expensive. I mean, I'm still intrigued, but... Sounds like you definitely have to pay for it. Let's see, Bob, you have 100 down and 25 up. Oh, jealous. Overlord returns from his lurking for a short time. Hope you're feeling better, Overlord. Oh, you're stuck in a dorm right now. That's the worst, because you really don't have a lot of options there. And, ooh, I think I can drag this. Or just shove it out of the way. That works, too. And there's another block back here. Go ahead and drag that out. 50 dollars That's it? Oh my gosh. Now, Void Vagrant, you don't have to answer, but I am curious where you live. Because I gotta get me some of that. <laughs> the jealousy is intense right now. I'm very curious where I'm gonna have to move to get myself some of that internet. Because, uh... Like, I've got less than that, and right now it costs significantly more. 
I'm not gonna say how much, because that'd be hella embarrassing, but it's, uh... Oh, oh it's not cheap. I, I think, I know there are places out there that do have a good amount of fiber to the premises, but uh, out here in the Chicagoland area, it's not easy to find, unfortunately. Let's see, but there is a different problem. Only a few districts have technical, ah, so the rollout isn't complete. That makes sense. That's unfortunate, but that does make sense. All right, so here's our stats for the end of the level. 43 monsters killed, three monkeys killed, one of six secrets found. So we're missing a lot, but that's okay. We're not trying to 100% it or anything. All right, back to Lurk Girl tomorrow. All right, thank you for stopping by again. You take care of yourself. And also, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't followed Girl tomorrow, make sure you do so. She is one of my favorite streamers on Twitch, and as a member of the same stream team I'm in, The Arena, which should tell you a little bit about quality right there, because The Arena's awesome. So make sure you click her name right there and give her a follow when you get a chance. Overlord slowly getting better. Gonna try and eat more and see if it helps keep yourself hydrated? Definitely. Gotta eat, gotta drink when you're sick, gotta keep yourself strong so you can kick some bacterial ass. Uh, let's see. But yeah, when you're in a dorm, you've got very limited uh, dorm access, uh, access to the internet. Basically, whatever they decide to give you. I remember when I was in my dorms, uh, I actually got, uh, what was it, Half-Life 2, the day it came out on Steam, when Steam first launched. And it took me a full three days to download it. Number one, because Steam was overloaded. Number two, because the dorm internet was really limited. And number three, because... You know, everybody in the dorm was also trying to download Half-Life 2. <laughs> so it was painful, but you know. The olden days of Steam back then. Warsaw, alright. So it makes sense that you're in the more populous part. They uh, have good reason to roll out. You know, the more population density, the more companies are usually compelled to roll out uh, fiber to the premises. But uh, yeah, color me jealous, Void Vagrant. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have done a half hour of bonus time and we just beat a level on the ball. So uh, as much as I'm enjoying this, I think this is going to be a good stopping place for the night. So if you're here and you haven't already hit follow, now would be a good time to do so. You'll get notified when I go live next, which will be Friday next week. We're going to be continuing the ball, seeing if we can press forward, do some more puzzle solving in here. Hope you'll stop by for that. It was always good to have you around. If you want to hang around for just a minute too, we are going to be uh, throwing a host at somebody else, which I see who's streaming. And we got some links for you as well. So, Void Vagrant, stop, thanks for stopping by. Bob, Smooth George, Overlord, Wheel Skeleton, Hatsuke. Thank you so much for stopping by, everybody. Really appreciate it. Always glad to see all of you and hope I will see you in the future. All right, so those links I promised you, we're going to start with my social links right there. First of all is my Twitter, which is another way to find out when I go live, and I'll try and post when I do interesting things in real life. Um, and we've got a link to uh, my YouTube, which is where I archive all my streams in case you want to check out some of the uh, some of the games I've played in the past. Some cool stuff in there. Nintendo Bone, thanks for stopping by as well. And Girl Tomorrow, always a pleasure. I'm going to throw in a link to my Discord as well, that's the best way to get a hold of me outside of the stream, and a good way to chat with some other viewers, everyone's invited, feel free to stop in. And I am going to throw a host at someone I rarely get to throw a host at here, but she is currently going in overtime, so let's go ahead and stop in and say hello here. And that is the retro streamer Spoonie, who right now is doing a subathon, playing a whole crap ton of Persona 5. Um, she's a wonderful streamer, feel free to uh, join us on this raid, say hi to her, throw a follow, and watch for a little bit, it's pretty entertaining. But uh, if you got other things to do, or that doesn't really interest you all that much, I'll just say as I always do, have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world, and I'll see you folks around. Take care of yourselves, everyone.